when dark spirits spread through the city and start tormenting people, a doctor decides to travel to a large island to find a cure for this evil disease. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Goodbye Monster, from 2022. Kunlun is an archipelago of extremely rich islands and, right in the center of it, there is a large island known as Major Island, this place welcomes sick people from all over the world, as it offers the best treatments for all kinds of illnesses. There is no illness that cannot be treated at Kunlun Hospital, but there is one that has haunted the inhabitants for centuries. This illness has become known as the spirit of darkness. Doctors who extract the dark spirit from their patients need to seal it away and store it underground. However, there is one doctor who has become obsessed with studying a way to destroy these spirits and has become the best in his field at treating patients who have been possessed. Because of this, Bai Zi, Beja became known as one of the best doctors in Kunlun and, thanks to his great competence, he became extremely respected and admired by his community. One day, the dark spirits in storage managed to break free and the four elders exhausted their powers trying to contain them. In an attempt to protect his people, Beja decides to risk his own life to try to destroy them all at once and ends up angering the spirits. This action causes an even greater disaster, as the creatures spread throughout the island and Master Lu uses all his vital energy to conjure the water talisman to contain them. Because of this reckless attitude, Beja ends up being forbidden to continue practicing medicine and studying the spirit of darkness. Unhappy with his sentence, the doctor decides to leave the hospital and go his own way. After that day, the entire island was in ruins and all the inhabitants had to move to the smaller island. Seven years later, the number of patients possessed by the dark spirit has increased considerably, so there is no more room in the warehouse to store them. So the way out is to dispose of the jars in the ocean and, in doing so, the villagers release the demons into the sea. As for Beja, he continues to study the dark spirit, but now he has to hide so that the members of the medical council don't find out what he's doing. With the help of his assistants, the doctor recruits possessed patients to his clandestine practice and helps them get rid of their illness before the spirit explodes their body. Unlike the doctors who work at the Kunlun hospital, Beja not only removes the spirit from his patients' bodies, but also eliminates it through the mantra of the five elements that he himself created. When he finally manages to discover a cure for this legendary disease, the doctor ends up being unmasked by Kunlun's guards and has to flee to avoid arrest. In an attempt to escape, he goes into the city and climbs onto the roofs of houses to get away, since the streets are so crowded. While Bai Fang and his men are trying to capture the doctor, a boy called Yi decides to follow him. While hiding inside a barrel, Beja ends up being found by Hu Jie, an old colleague who worked with him at Kunlun Hospital, and is extremely relieved to see him. Then they both hear Bai Fang approaching and hide together inside the barrel. In an attempt to throw off the guards, Yi starts making noise and attracts their attention elsewhere. When the group leaves, Beja comes out of hiding and reveals that he has found a way to eliminate the dark spirits once and for all. All these years, Hu Jie has helped his friend to continue his studies, even after Master Lu's ban. Now that the old man is gone, Beja is permanently banned from setting foot in Kunlun. The only way the doctor can present his discovery is if another director is elected to run the hospital. So Hu Jie decides to speed up the process. That night, Beja decides to go to a bar to celebrate his victory, as he has spent the last few years of his life dedicated to finding a cure for the disease that has affected countless generations over the years. That night, the doctor meets Yi and the boy asks for his help to treat his illness. As his horn hasn't grown as it should, the young Qilin can't use his spell to control the wind. However, instead of helping the boy, Beja advises him to go to Kunlun Hospital and Yi reveals that the doctors there have told him that there is no cure for his illness. Suddenly, Xing Tian appears and starts mocking the boy. Furious at this injustice, Beja decides to intervene and attacks the monster. However, the fight is interrupted when Zhu Wei, an old flame of Beja's, decides to intervene and shows her nine tails to drive the customers out of her bar. As he leaves, Beja changes his mind about helping Yang Yi and says that the only way to treat his horn is with a plant called Jalwen. The problem is that this ingredient only grew on Illa Mayor and is stored in the old hospital. In an attempt to help his friend regain his position on the medical board, Hu Jie convinces the four elders to hold a ceremony to select the new head of the hospital. Whoever proves capable of eliminating the dark spirit trapped inside a huge metal chalice will be able to take on the leadership role. The four elders are the judges and evaluate the performance of the doctors who take part in the selection, but none of them are able to permanently end the spirit. Suddenly, Beja appeared to take part in the selection, but before he could demonstrate his mantra of the five elements, Hu Jie used the same technique to eliminate the spirit. When he realizes that his friend has stolen his spell, Beja is furious and realizes that, for all these years, he was just being used by him. 
In order to convince the jury that he is the true creator of the technique, Hugh J orders his assistant to bring in another spirit so that Beja has a chance to demonstrate his power, but the doctor ends up failing because his scroll has been torn. Just then, Bai Fang appears and orders his men to arrest the doctor for illegally storing dark spirits in his house. After Beja is sent to his cell, Hugh J returns to his office and celebrates the fact that he has managed to get rid of his biggest competitor. However, he discovers that his spell wasn't able to eliminate the dark spirit, but only trapped it. So the trickster decides to go personally to Beja's cell to ask him to hand over his scroll, but the doctor refuses, so Hugh J decides to steal it by force. At this point, Beja uses a spell to create countless copies of himself and distracts his opponent. After retrieving his scroll, he traps Hugh J in the cell and manages to escape. Once again, Beja has to flee from the hospital guards and relies on the help of some lanterns to fly over the island. When he lands, he ends up being surrounded by Bai Feng and decides to cross the lantern bridge to try and escape. The owl quickly goes after him and tries to capture him, but the doctor manages to escape and finally arrives on the big island. While walking through a forest full of dry trees, Beja meets Yi, who has gone there to look for the legendary plant. Together, they hide from the guards, but end up being chased by the valley monster, who looks more like a tree trunk. When the plant man captures Beja, Yi goes after him and uses a candy to distract him while the doctor manages to escape. On leaving the forest, the pair come across a desert and have to brave a sandstorm to reach the old hospital. After surviving all these challenges, the pair find a temple, but Yi can't find the medicinal plant he's been looking for. Determined to return to Minor Island, Beja runs towards the pier, but the boy refuses to leave without first finding the Jalwin. Knowing that the boy will perish if he stays there alone, the doctor decides to take him against his will, but Yi soon realizes that accompanying him is his best chance of survival. After a few hours of walking, the pair spots some people flying over the desert and among them is a patient who has been cured by Beja. While running after Kushan, the doctor notices that he has grayish skin and tries to find out what happened. The man then follows the group to a small town and discovers that there are dozens of people living there in hiding. They had all been possessed by the dark spirit, but were cured. Even so, their families wouldn't take them back, so the group decided to get together to build a new home. While walking through that place, Beja has the chance to talk to Kushan and discovers that, even after being cured, he has shown symptoms of the disease again. In an attempt to stop Hu J from taking over the hospital, Beja asks Mrs. Fang to help him get to the pier. At that moment, he learns that he ended up there because of Yi, who induced him to follow that path in order to reach the old hospital, because the boy knows that this is the only place where the Jalwin plant grows. When he discovers the truth, Beja feels cheated and, to try to calm him down, Mrs. Fang offers to sew his scroll. Meanwhile, the doctor has fun with the patients who live in the town and Yi realizes that something is wrong with Kushan. Seeing everyone dancing and having fun, he decides to leave and the boy decides to follow him because he's worried about him. Kushan is walking through the desert when his body suddenly turns into a stone statue and Yi runs to ask Beja for help, but it's too late. Then Mrs. Fang appears and reveals that when a patient gives up on life, their body turns to stone. Minutes later, Bai Fang shows up looking for Beja, but Mrs. Fang helps him escape. After handing the parchment to the doctor, she directs him to follow a certain path and Yi accompanies him. However, they end up being surrounded by the guards and Beja has to use one of his spells to escape. After entering the wall, the pair walk inside the rock until they reach the other side. At this point, they decide to split up and Yi goes in search of the old hospital while the doctor heads towards the pier. After climbing the stairs, the boy is possessed by the dark spirit and sees himself being mistreated by the other Kilins, who make fun of him for having a small horn. Luckily, Beja was worried about the boy and decided to return to help him fulfill his mission. When he realizes that Yi has been infected, the doctor uses his mantra to cure him and is extremely happy to discover that his scroll is working again. However, it isn't long before the demonic creatures manage to break free and attack the boy again. This time, the mantra of the five elements isn't enough to save Yi, so Beja has to enter the black cloud to rescue the young man. After saving him, the man climbs the mountain and they both decide to take a break. Realizing that Yi won't return home without finding the plant, Beja decides to help him and walks with him to the old hospital, which has been in ruins for seven years. After rummaging through the rubble, the doctor finds the box where the Jalwin is stored and tries to cure the boy, but for some reason the magic doesn't work. When he finds out that his friend is on the big island, Zhu Wei decides to go there to look for him and comes across Bai Fang. Knowing that he and his men are after the doctor, the fox decides to confront them and starts a duel against the owl. However, when a legion of dark spirits appears, Zhu Wei uses her nine tails to attack the enemy and creates a distraction to escape. 
Seeing Yi sad that he hasn't been cured, Beja promises that he won't give up and does everything he can to cheer the boy up. After reassuring the boy, the doctor asks him to sleep around the fire and covers his body with the parchment cloth. Beja then hugs the young man and, at that moment, is transported to his memories. During the experience, the man can feel the deep sadness of the boy who has always been treated like a freak and even lost his father to the dark spirit. When he wakes up, he realizes that Yi has disappeared and sets off in search of the boy. After going through a tunnel, Beja finds a forest and walks until he comes across a beautiful wooden house. When he meets the boy, he feels relieved and Yi reveals that he has met a doctor who can cure his horn. Suddenly, Tang Ni appears and claims to be a disciple of the great head of the Kunlun Hospital. Not believing what the radish is saying, Beja calls Yi to leave. As they walk to the door, Tang Ni decides to diagnose the boy's illness and says that it is impossible to cure him. Upon hearing this, the boy begins to be consumed by the spirit of darkness and Beja immediately tries to help him, but his mantra of the five elements again doesn't work. Just then, Bai Fang appears, so the doctor asks Tang Ni to take Yi and run away. While fighting his opponent, the doctor remembers that he caused his master's perishment and is deeply shaken. This feeling serves as fuel for the fight and, when he realizes that he won't be able to defeat him, Bai Fang decides to use Yi as a prisoner. The owl threatens to eliminate the boy if the doctor refuses to hand over his scroll, so Beja has no choice but to give in to the enemy's demands. The doctor is then dragged to the edge of a cliff and Bai Fang decides to push him off, believing that he will be doing justice for all the people who have been hurt by him. When he falls into the water, Beja encounters a legion of dark spirits and swims towards the surface to avoid being captured. However, the creatures manage to wrap around his body and drag him back to the bottom of the ocean. When Beja was about to give up fighting for his life, a golden butterfly appeared and, after radiating its light, rescued the doctor from the prison created by the spirits. When he opens his eyes, he sees Zhu Wei and despairs when he discovers that Yi has been taken away by the guards. Together with his new friends, Beja walks through the desert towards the pier and enlists the help of Mrs. Fang to get to Minor Island more quickly. Meanwhile, Hu Jie is carrying out the last stage of tests to prove that he is worthy of becoming the new head of Kunlun Hospital. The doctor is already losing hope that he will be able to eliminate the dark spirit when Bai Fang appears with the scroll and Hu Jie uses the spell to produce a ray capable of eliminating all the dark spirits that were trapped in the ocean. At that moment, Beja appears, but is stopped by the guards. Knowing that the owl tried to eliminate his friend, Zhu Wei attacks it with her sword in search of revenge. With the way clear, the doctor approaches the traitor and reveals that the mantra of the five elements is no longer useful in eliminating the dark spirit. Furious, Hu Jie refutes this claim, then Beja realizes that he has been infected. Instead of eliminating those creatures, the talismans drawn on the scroll are only capable of containing them. Determined to prove that his spell works, Hu Jie decides to use it to heal Yi, but before he can do so, the scroll begins to burn as it is unable to contain the huge amount of spirits trapped inside. In order to save the inhabitants, Beja orders everyone to run for the hills, but Hu Jie decides to stay and his body is completely possessed by the demons. As Yi is weakened by his illness, Beja decides to carry the boy while he runs to safety. During the escape, the residents have to dodge the numerous attacks made by the dark spirits, because if someone is hit, they run the risk of being infected. Even in the face of this enormous tragedy, Zhu Wei and Bai Feng continue their duel. However, when the fox almost has an accident, Beja has to save her and manages to convince his friend to run away with him. Seeing Hu Jie approaching, the doctor decides to hand Yi over to the fox and asks her to keep climbing the mountain while he tries to stop the man from destroying the island. When they realize the extent of their adversary's powers, even the four elders don't have the courage to face him and flee with the rest of the population. Saddened to see his old friend's declining health, Beja tries to bring him back and helps Hu Jie remember Master Lu's teachings. At that moment, he discovered that Hu Jie had always hated his master, because he believed that Lu liked Beja more than the other disciples. During the battle, Tang Ni appears to help his friend stop the opponent, but the demons are even more powerful as they have joined forces with a host full of anger and resentment. These feelings serve as fuel for the spirit of darkness to spread and consume more and more of the infected person's soul. When all the survivors reach the top of the mountain, the four elders unite their powers to create a protective barrier around the city and manage to stop the spirits from getting closer. By now, half of Yi's body has turned to stone and, if the parasite isn't removed from his body, the boy will be a statue very soon. At that moment, Beja approaches the barrier and the elders allow him to enter to try to save the young Qilin. However, the doctor no longer has his scroll and Hu Jie refuses to help the boy. 
Instead, the man invites the entire legion of evil spirits to join him and, together, they transform into a dark monster. This diabolical titan's strength is so great that he manages to tear a hole in the protective barrier and capture Yi. Determined to rescue the boy, Beja enters the darkness and uses his scroll to protect him. After helping the boy face his greatest trauma, the perishment of his father, the doctor manages to cure him and they both return safely to the city. Confident that he doesn't need big horns to control the wind, Yi uses his powers to trap the titan with Beja's scroll, but the monster manages to escape. So the doctor decides to adopt another strategy, because in order to fight the spirit of darkness, he realizes that he needs to turn on the light that exists within people's hearts. In doing so, he manages to cure patients who have been infected by the darkness and frees all those who have lived for years imprisoned by their own fears and traumas. Among the victims was Hugh J himself, who was tormented by the fear of not meeting his late master's expectations. The desire to be better than Beja corrupted his heart and, because of this, he was easily influenced to follow the dark path. After discovering a cure for this terrible disease, the inhabitants summoned up the courage to rebuild the island. Since then, Kunlun has never been bothered by dark spirits again and the inhabitants of both islands have been able to enjoy a long period of peace. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.